Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to Final Cut Pro Shorts. In this video, we'll take a look at how to delete Final Cut Pro preferences to help optimize its performance. When Final Cut Pro starts acting weird, unstable, or just misbehaves in general, the best thing you can do is delete your Final Cut Pro preference files. Final Cut Pro needs these files to operate, and it looks for them every time it starts up. If you delete your Final Cut Pro preference files, it can't find them, so Final Cut Pro replaces these missing files with factory defaults. This simple fix can correct a number of issues in Final Cut Pro. Keep in mind, you should only delete these preference files if Final Cut Pro is misbehaving and you have done some basic troubleshooting without any success. Also, before deleting your preference files, go through Final Cut Pro's preference windows and take note of your settings. You may even want to write these down or take screenshots for reference. Go through all these steps and, if Final Cut Pro is still misbehaving, delete your preference files. First thing you need to do is quit Final Cut Pro. Now hold down the command and option keys while launching Final Cut Pro. A window pops up asking if you want to delete your preferences. Click the Delete Preferences button and all your preference files are gone. This method is much simpler than searching through Finder to find these files and hoping you delete the right ones. Hopefully, deleting and resetting your Final Cut Pro preferences fixes whatever issue you may have. If not, you may have to delete and reinstall the entire application, but hopefully it doesn't come to that. If this video helped you with your Final Cut Pro problems, or you have other troubleshooting tips, let me know in the comments. And, if you haven't yet, check out the other videos on my channel, lots of great stuff there. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.